What's something you wish you never saw? My dad fallen on the floor, half paralyzed, barely able to talk, calling me. He was drowning in his own vomit. He died a few hours later. It hasn't even been a month since he died but this picture of him collapsed on the floor calling me for help while barely being able to speak will haunt me for the rest of my life. When I was 9, I stayed with my grandparents in a different country for a school term, about 2 months. The house had a cellar that housed my grandfather's work tools and benches as well as a fridge. I went into the cellar to get a drink and saw my grandfather on a chair with his head thrown back and eyes closed. He was getting sucked off by the suction tube that cleans up sawdust. I didn't know what he was doing at the time and kinda stared trying to figure it out. He saw me and instantly stopped and I ran away and I remember telling my grandmother about it in a jokey way because I thought it was funny. I think back to that and cringe. I served on a federal jury for a CP case. We had to watch three 10 second clips of what the guy downloaded as part of the prosecution's case. Two of the clips I was able to view and forget pretty much immediately. The third is permanently engraved in my brain, unfortunately. I worked security in an emergency ward but I didn't actually see much of anything in the way of gore. I just see the gurney on the way in. The worst experience I had there was what I smelled. I was coming back from the cafeteria and on my way to emergency there was a very strong smell of pork barbecue. My first thought was some idiot brought a hibachi into the waiting room and is cooking their dinner, which, in my defense, would not be much of a stretch with all the other strange shit that happened there all the time. Turns out there was an apartment fire and we had half a dozen serious burn victims come in. That's when I found out burned human flesh smells like pork barbecue. My daughter on life support, brain dead after a car accident, before she was wheeled away to be an organ donor. My daughter Jillian was 16 when she died. Just a couple of weeks before the accident we had to renew her health card, Canadian here, and as she was 16 it was her first time signing for herself. Jill asked about the organ donation option on the form and I explained it to her. Her response was why would anyone be so selfish to not donate their organs when they are dead? She was killed two weeks later and I had no doubt in my mind what she would have wanted done with her precious organs. She gave seven people a new lease on life and seven families now have their loved ones with them due to her selflessness. For me it was the video of the guy who killed himself and live streamed it. The gore wasn't so much an issue so much as he was on the phone with his girlfriend at the time who was pleading with him and his mom was the first one to see him dead after hearing the shot. Saw my grandpa's balls. After my grandma died I spent a week over there to keep him company. He was napping and I went in to see if he wanted to go get dinner. He was lying on his side wearing just a t-shirt. It was a long shirt but his balls were longer. I was 15. I am 38 and can still see them perfectly in my mind. I spent a few months in prison a few years back, and in the gym I befriended a guy from the same corridor as me. Eventually we were smoking cigs drinking coffee in his cell, when I asked, what put you here? which is something you should generally never ask anybody inside the rock, because the joke is that everybody's innocent. But by that time we were already pretty good buddies so he did not mind. So he says there's my folder behind you in the shelf. Take a look. I wish I did not. In these police files, evidence files that were in the folder, there were very, very graphic pictures. Worse than you can ever see in a horror film. Some guy had owed him some money for some meth. He had gone to his house, tied him up onto a chair with duct tape in the middle of the kitchen floor, then carved his head open from ear to ear, take the top of the skull off and spoon out the brains. Some questions are better left unasked. A young boy was hit by a car a few years ago. I didn't see it but ran to help when I heard his mother screaming. I had first aid but it was clear I couldn't do anything. He died at the hospital later. Wish I never saw it because the memories of the sights and sounds are ridiculously clear still makes me really appreciate EMTs and emergency room nurses and doctors who have to deal with tragedy on a daily basis. My wife's beloved dog was torn in four pieces after he ran out under a truck when my niece took him for a walk. My wife extremely upset that her dog of 16 years was dead insisted and kept going on and on to see the dog. I had to put him back together again and spent most of the time washing one side of his body so it wasn't covered in blood. In the end I felt I did a good enough job so that she could view him one last time. My wife made her peace. My right tibia bone. 
When I was six years old I was walking down an escalator in a mall. I tripped and fell and scraped my shin on the sharp metal edges of the escalator. The skin was basically fully peeled back revealing the raw bone. I touched it. Somehow, I didn't get any stitches and only have a tiny scar. But sometimes I still get that bloody image in my head. My mother's dead body. When I got the call late at night and drove to the retirement home, the employees there acted like it was expected of me, like of course I wanna slash gotta go down in the basement and look at her one last time. So I went along with it. My dad later asked me what in the world I was thinking, and I don't know. I'd much rather have remembered her the way she was when she was alive, but now all I see is a dead grimace full of agony. A few years back I saw a video of a young woman ascending an escalator with a toddler. At the top the floor breaks beneath her and she falls in, has just enough time to hurl the kid out of harm's way and then gets chewed up into the machinery. You can hear the bones of her legs breaking. I was ducked up by that for ages. Still can't bring myself to get onto an escalator. I hope her kid is doing okay, hopefully too young to remember. I was at the library. We heard the fire engine noise outside. Naturally, the other kids and I go outside and look. There's blood everywhere on the ground and a guy's head is hanging off his neck. It's not completely detached from the body, but the neck and spine are broken, so it's hanging lifelessly. My dad Skype messages with another guy when I was 12. He's still married to my mom and I'm not sure why or if he really wants to be with her. I have zero problems with my dad being gay if he is but I've always wondered if he actually loves my mom. My neighbor's beautiful colleague got hit head on by a vehicle speeding through the neighborhood. The guy just grinned and sped off, leaving her dead in the road. It broke my heart to pull her off to the side. The worst, since I was only a kid at the time, was having to tell our neighbor what had happened as we both loved that sweet dog. In the early days of the internet, a friend sent me a link with what appeared to be my first name in the URL. I thought how nice, an e-birthday card. Wrong. I clicked into it. Turned out it was someone else's collection of dead body images. Bodies impaled upright on giant sticks, bodies smashed apart where the outside and insides and mixed up, a full head crushed inward concave. That's the day I stopped talking to this friend. I there was a video of Deer's head being blown apart by .50 California it didn't explode, just split the head into two halves barely hanging on the lower jaw flesh and bones with its eyes bulging out and wiggling all over the place. I found it in some Facebook group I was removed from long time ago because of inactivity or something. A cop I once knew thought it would be funny to show me a picture of some guy that shot in the head by Nikkei from one of his crime scenes. The image of the man's eyes half rolled up into his head, mouth wide open, and his now liquefied brains all splattered all over the sidewalk are forever burned into my mind. I never spoke to that cop again after that. An ex-friend of mine took genuine pleasure in feeding a live rat to his pet snake, and just found it hilarious watching the rat die. For the record, I understand the snakes got to eat. But my friend's reaction to it, I'll never forget. He said stuff like, Aw, you wanna get out? Just shut the duck up and let my snake eat you. He expected me to find it funny, but I was just horrified. An Alabama Hot Pocket for those unaware and don't want to be scarred by the image the Alabama Hot Pocket a special fetish maneuver that roughly involves taking a shit into a woman's vagina, typically followed up by a good old duckin'. Two little girls getting run over by an 18-wheeler right in front of me when I was 16. The girls were playing on a bicycle in a park near the street. They were trying to go around the park riding the same bike, one of them pedaling and the other one moving the handlebars. I was walking on the sidewalk towards the park. When I was about 10 meters away from the girls, they lost control of the bike, went towards the street, tripped and fell under the trailer, right in front of the last set of wheels. They were completely crushed by the truck, blood and bits everywhere. The driver stopped and literally fell on his knees crying as soon as he saw what happened. The girl's mom lost it, crying uncontrollably, screaming and pulling her hair. An angry mob started to form and beat the driver, the guy was screaming please kill me, I deserve to die. But a woman who was with the mother saved him from the mob and started to comfort him, telling him it wasn't his fault. I was shocked, frozen in place watching all this happen around me until I snapped out of it and ran home. It was a horrifying accident, gave me nightmares for weeks. 
Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.